friends, welcome to Chairside. In the last video, we saw the use of the Condor Intraoral Scanner and how we can incorporate it to take our practices to the next level. Today, I have another beautiful intraoral scanner with me from Dental Wings Canada, which is great to have, especially when you have some financial innovations or if you just don't want to invest a big sum in the initial stages of your practice. This, my dear friends, is a great way to kickstart your digital journey. This is the Dental Wings Intraoral Scanner from Canada, which again is a lovely looking scanner. And mind you, it's highly portable, so you can even carry it around with you if you go consulting. Take a look at the scanning handpiece. It's the great example of technological ingenuity. Look how sleek it is. In fact, I don't feel any difference between holding this and an air rotor. And in fact, it's designed keeping in mind the fact that we are so used to holding an air rotor in our daily practices. Look at that beautifully designed head which has 10 cameras and a group of LED lights. This handpiece is an absolute engineering marvel. You can see this light indicator on the handpiece which changes color depending upon the status of scanning. So if the ring turns red, it means that you're losing track. Once you're back on track, it turns green again. It's a very, very compact system and what you see right now is all that the scanning system is. In fact, it also includes a fully configured Windows-based touchscreen computer along with the handpiece. The Dental Wings Intraoral Scanner is a one-time buy, which means that there is no annual license fee that you need to pay. And there are two variants in the Dental Wings. There is a powder version and a powder-free version. Both look exactly the same. So this is how it works. You just log in with your login ID. You create a patient's file, enter all the details and just enter the scanning mode. It's all that simple. This is the page where you will see there are two modes available. So if you sign up for the powder version, you will not be able to access the powder free mode at all. I have a patient ready on the chair whom I'm going to scan. You can see how I'm scanning with this handpiece and because of the uniquely designed head, it's very easy to capture the buccal and lingual aspects of the teeth. As I discussed in the last video, it's very important to maintain isolation and have a dry field while scanning. There's some very interesting features like the gesture control where I don't need to touch the screen at all. I can just have a wide range of gestures to control the screen which adds to the coolness of this system. And obviously it also prevents cross-contamination. In fact, I can also use voice commands to control the system. In the similar way, I will also complete the maxillary scan. So as you can see, while I scan, the system is automatically reconstructing the 3D model of the patient's jaw. It's now time to take the buckle scan. This will help the software orient the upper and lower scans together. Once the scans are complete, I can easily send them to the lab within a few minutes. You also have this unique feature of gauging the occlusal reduction which is in the form of a color-coded map. As long as you can see green, you are okay as far as the occlusal clearance is concerned, whereas red will indicate that you need some amount of reduction there. I can also see the path of insertion in case I'm working on a bridge or multiple units, and this gives me the ability of adjusting the path of insertion then and there, instead of calling my patient back. Similarly, I can also use the Dental Wings Intraoral Scanner to make full art scans. So it's high time we start investing in gadgets like the intraoral scanner which in my opinion is the need of the hour. It really doesn't matter much if you choose the Condor which is a color scanner or the Dental Wings which is monochromatic. The purpose for both of them is the same, growing your practice. You can put down your comments in the comment section below or email us any questions that you may have about intraoral scanning. See you next week.